Hey everybody, it's Stalker13R coming at you with another episode. We're just going to jump right in today without an intro and get on Siegfried Line. Now I've talked before about, you know, going out here into the 123 line and how being out in that valley, I mean, what value are you really bringing to your team in that early half? If you're trying to get that early outflank, there's always someone there to stop you. And you can do it from the 5-6 line and still be close enough to the city to go and help out in the city or, or protect your base, whether it's a two base or whether it's like today, being in a counter battle. So we're going to be in the T-29 today. Uh, we're going to be a bottom tier and we're going to do okay. You know, it's not going to be an amazing game, but uh, as the title suggests, you know, we might end up top of the list anyway. The T-29 has always been a really good vehicle to be bottom tier in because it's got some characteristics that makes it a le little easier to accomplish that goal. So we're going to head up to the 5-6 line because we know we're going to get some free shots in on the guys that are undoubtedly going to come across that field. And uh, we'll kind of assess what, how the situation is developing. Being bottom tier, we're definitely not in a position where we're going to lead the charge against these tier 9 tanks. So we're just going to try to get into a position where we can actually do something to support the team. You know, where can I get my gun in the game? Where can I warm up my barrel? You know, where am I going to actually be able to get some kind of damage or tracking assist that uh, will actually be useful to my team, you know, as a whole, even if I'm not that primary damage dealer. So we've got quite a bit of our guys out there in the field too, and uh, they're going to have a little exchange out there. and You know, ultimately, it's really not going to affect the outcome of, of the overall game. So, we'll just do a little house cleaning over here and see how the situation develops in the city. Now, being positioned right here, in an encounter battle, Starter 13R always tells you, you want to be within 30 to 45 seconds of that flag, so that if three enemies jump on that base, you can get there in time to do something about it to stop that cap because in a game of capture the flag especially where there's only one flag people can and do capture the flag I know dare I say it out loud as much as that might be a shock to a lot of World of Tanks players uh, in a game of capture the flag people will indeed uh, capture the flag so yeah that uh, field situation you know it's pretty stable you know, you get out there, you get a couple of shots in, see how the situation goes. You know, if I were topped here, I would have came over here to the city right away so that I could apply my apply my uh, battle power immediately. But since I'm bottomed here, I wanted to let that situation develop and then get into a sneaky spot over here, put a track on that 100, and, uh, you know, see what we can't get done. You know, anything you can do to, you know, fix those guys into position so that somebody with, you know, better equipment can get some things accomplished. You know, so there we're getting a little bit of damage in. I'll be more than happy to shoot over the shoulder of this uh, Conqueror here. And, uh, see if I can't fix somebody into position so that they can't drag back in. And there I got tracking assist for that. So I'm just going to work with my tank partners here. Looks like we've got uh, a couple of tanks and they're going to be able to handle this gap there. I got another tracking assist. So you know anything that you can do to be helpful when you're bottom tier. I don't have to be charging in. I don't have to just waste my tank on being a distraction. You know I can just get into a place where I have a narrow channel, shoot over some shoulders. But now that I've got a couple of tanks in front of me, they've got this under control and they don't need me here. So I need to find another spot on the battlefield that I'm needed. Now, every other game that I'm on this map, I try to drive through this thinking that I can get through, and then remember that I can't. You know, when I'm looking at my mini-map there, uh, you know, it always looks like you can get through that corner, but you can't. So here I am over on this cap, and I see that they've got, you know, an end run going on, and they're going to try to put some cap pressure on us. So that's what I'm going to do, is come over here and support this element from, you know, us getting outflanked. I don't quite have a shot on that STA-1. So, 
I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time sitting over here worrying about it. So now that that's done, I can see that there's a lot of green dots on the far side of town, which means it's time to go back. It's time to go back to that BC line, and we're going to go on our side and make sure that any, any flanking elements that we're getting around are going to be on ours, so that with the green with our friendly tanks on the far side of town and us pulling back to this near side of town relative to our starting point you know we're going to establish a line across that you know six and seven line and then we're just going to push on mass all the way across looks like a number of those tanks have fallen back through the city too but uh you know if 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 we would have all got online you know i think that would have been been an ideal strategy. So you can see I've got a tank to my 7 o'clock, but he's got a couple of guys on him. He's not worried about it. I want to get over here and get some of my armor and health point pool in front of this Tiger 1. Looks like he's been duking it out. And, you know, he's lost a lot of that health point pool, so I just want to present another target that might be a threat and distract from him. So it's late in the game. We're doing pretty good. I wonder where those last two uh, TDs are. Uh, I think they're out in the field, and I think they've been sitting there, you know, most of the game. And you know, I'm just not not sure, you know, how that's really uh, benefited their team a whole lot. So now the cats decided to be interested in uh, what I've got going on today. I don't know if you're going to pick that up in the audio, but uh, we'll find out when we hit the replay. So I can't quite get a shot on this guy. He's just showing a sliver of the turret relative to where I am. So, you know, I'm trying to get in there, but it's uh, I'm just not getting it. So I'm going to go down and pull through this gap. Now, you know, I've always beat up, you know, the field and, you know, TD sitting out there. And, you know, I know you feel like you don't have a lot of other options, especially if you've got light armor. You know, going into the city can be a trick. You know, there are guys with videos out there where they go into cities in these TDs and they actually get some things done. You know, even if you'd have gone into the city like I did, wait till it develops a little bit and then go in after the fact. Or even just hang out on that 5-6 line and watch the field. You can control the field from there without being all the way out here where, you know, what is it that you were getting done? So I'm going to go ahead and call the video here pretty quick. Uh, I'm going to go out here and get the spotting done because I'm moving aggressively across this open. I've got the health point pool to do it. So I'm going to use that health point pool and come on out here and make sure that we keep those targets lit. I'm going to get a shot on both of them. I get one of the kills. Somebody else gets another one. So here we are. Average game. 2,000 damage. You know, only two kills. You know, nothing big in the in the in the stats department, but we put another win on the board. And there we are, top of the list, even though we were bottom tier. So I hope that's a good look at you know this map once again. And we'll give you not only a look at uh, some things that you can do on that map, like you can control that field from the 5-6 line. There's no need to go way out into the 1-2-3 line. And you're still close enough that you can affect, you know, the base cap, whether it's an encounter game, whether it's a two base game, you can get into the city. You can just do so much more from that five, six line than you can from that one, two, three line. And, you know, that end run never works out anyway, because there's always somebody at the five, six line. So that's just my two cents. You know, it's not an absolute. I'm never going to come on the mic and, you know, you know, berate anybody that's sitting out there. It's their game. They can play it how they want. But, you know, if, if you're someone that's out there, you know, I'd ask you to consider, you know, how much, how much you're really getting, getting done for the game. So I had a subscriber, Neo Bonsai. Uh, shout out to you. Super guy, Neo Kamikaze. Uh, he sent in some uh, a video of him doing some power slides and stuff like that. And that's not a play style that I do really well. So I was really excited to get that clip and try to get it on the channel. And the way the upload studio works, and it's all based off of my DVR, when someone sends any kind of video, I can't get their video onto my DVR. I don't know if they've done that just so that uh, you can't steal people's content. Or what what the strategy is there but uh, you know I just I, I've tried everything I can and I can't get it done so I wanted to bring you that I'll see if I can't mix up something uh, 
from some footage that I have that'll, you know, maybe make up for that, but I really appreciated, you know, being sent that footage, and I'm really sorry that I couldn't get it up. So, once again, you know, being bottom tier, you know, even when you're in a heavy, that's the worst time to get bottom tiered, because people feel like that heavy tank is so limited. The T-29 does a better job of it because it's still got some good characteristics that'll that'll help out, you know, that strong turret front, it's got reasonable mobility, and even though in bottom tier its damage is a little bit lower, you know, you can be the guy that tracks everybody and let those big alpha guns do that damage, and you'll get the tracking assist. So, just try to keep that gun in the game, keep everything going, and do whatever it is that you can to support your team. Because remember, you're on a team with 14 other people. It's not that 14 other people are on your team. I'm Stalker13R, thanks for watching.